car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the guitars on stage practically are made by John DeLop. Yeah. <laughs> He's right here in the audience. awesome guitars. You know, I had a question the other day by someone that said, how do you put a capo on your guitar and it's still in tune? I'm trying to remember who asked me that in case it was like a musician you know. You might know. It was somebody. I don't remember who asked. It was, um, no, I think it was just like a, a, a person from the audience that was talking to me and asking about the guitar. These guitars just attract attention. People from the audience will come up and ask questions about the guitar. Usually I think they're about to say, <laughs> I'd like to buy a CD. <laughs> but they just want to know about the guitar. So, um, I tell them, but the, so this person asked me the question, um, how do you just take the capo off and your guitar is perfectly in tune? And um, I was really happy to tell him, it's just a great guitar. I don't know why, it just does that. I don't really ever have to worry about it staying in tune at shows. I used to spend half the show tuning my guitar. <laughs> you know. Um, okay, so that's one feature. Delap guitars. They stay in tune. And they stay in tune even if you put capo. So he was trying to figure it out. He said, well, why do you think it is? And um, I said, maybe it's because the action is low. I don't know. Maybe it's because the frets are, the frets don't stick out too much. I theorized about it. You don't have to stretch the strings too much. I don't know. And he said, well, that's not it. My guitar's action is really low. We just didn't figure out why, but I told him it's John DeLock and um, he could he could like look up the guitars if he was interested in one. But anyway, yeah, um, they're they're fantastic guitars. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs>